And good morning, good timers. We are in downtown Miami this morning, waiting for our boat tour, which is supposed to start here in about an hour or so. Behind me is the American Airlines Arena, where the Miami Heat plays. And we are at Bayside Market, which is where the boat is leaving from. Right now, Simone is on a Starbucks run, and I think she might be shit out of luck, because most of the uh, mall is closed right now. Probably opens at 11, I'm guessing. But it's, it's, only about, it's only about 10 right now, though, so. There may be a Starbucks somewhere, but we're gonna kind of search around here for a little while as we have about an hour to kill. See if we can find something open that can give her some coffee. As you can see, guys, Miami does have its own observation wheel. Not in service right now because of the issues, but looks like it'd be a nice view when it is open. Probably really hot though. Place right here at the mall after our tour. So we're just waiting on our food. 
and cooling off. Okay guys, so here's my uh, Jaeger schnitzel with some spetzel on the side. And Simone threw the big ass pretzel over there. It also has a side of spetzel at herself, so we're gonna dig in. Okay guys, we're here back on the beach in the evening today. We were thinking about going in the water, but there's an overabundance of seaweed again. And it's actually not that uh, hot compared to how it is in the morning. It's got a really nice breeze here tonight, so we're just kind of relaxing a little bit before we go out to have a uh, light dinner here a little bit later at a local taco place that makes their own tacos. So pretty full from dinner still, so we're just gonna have a little snack later on after uh, we hang out here on the beach a little bit. So. Simona investigated this seaweed and found the name for it, and it's I a. Forgot already. It's uh, yeah, it's something something sorghum, like a, something sorghum, like right? Nest. Yeah, but either way, it's a phenomenon. So it only washes up on the beach every few years, and just our luck, it, this year is one of the years. So one of the years. yeah, I'll spin the camera around so you can see all this seaweed. It's about uh, about five to six feet uh, wide here, piled up. So. To the coastline, right. So yeah, a lot of seaweed out there and it's the entire length of the beach. And there's plenty more washing in behind that pile. So each yeah. morning they've uh, attempted to rake it, but it hasn't worked out so well as it just piles back up about five minutes later. So one article called it the rainforest of the sea. Yes, the rainforest of the sea is, is one of the articles we read. So yeah, yeah, it sounds pretty. It's nice and soft actually, but it is kind of gross at the same time. So. We're just gonna hang out here, relax on the water. Um, well, not on the water. Relax watching the water. And all of our uh, closest friends, which there is plenty of people on the beach here tonight. It is Saturday tonight, and people seem to be out in force in both directions, but it's a really big and wide beach, so you can still get away from people if you'll like to, which is what we've done. So yeah, we'll uh, catch up with you guys later. Okay, guys. Saturday night and we are gonna head over here to this place I found on Yelp called Takiza. Specializes in homemade blue corn tortillas. So everything is made with blue corn tortillas handmade right here. All right guys, so they got both indoor and outdoor seating here. Obviously the seating's been spaced out so there's not as much seating as there usually is, but once again, we find ourselves having the place all to ourselves, which has been a common theme here so far this vacation. People are still kind of probably afraid to eat out. They do have outdoor seating here with a patio overlooking Collins Ave. And yeah, Simone right now is just ordering our food and we'll be getting that here shortly. All right, we are starting off with a couple of sangrias, uh, a hibiscus sangria and a passion fruit sangria. Okay guys, the food has arrived. We ordered the, uh, basically the nachos, um, guacamole and salsa with the homemade blue corn tortilla chips. Yep. And then we've got quesadillas over here filled with squash blossoms actually. And obviously some uh, cheese and some uh, cilantro sauce it looks like. So, digging in. We'll get Simone's impression today instead of mine. Well, that's a t-shirt too, but I said the impression of your food, but yeah. Oh, okay. But yes, nice t-shirt. Very good. All right, we got it very good on the uh, on the nachos. Time for me to dig in. Okay. All right, one of the keys here. Very mild. But very good. Cilantro sauce is what makes it. Yum. Too. These chips are good guys because they're crispy on the outside and then they're very soft and pillowy in the middle. Almost like a pita bread consistency. Salsa and guacamole both have some good kick to it as well. Andy, would you say any tongues after? I might eat tongues, yep. Because I'm old. All right, guys, that place was excellent. I would 
definitely recommend that if you're in South Beach. Not too filling, just the right amount of food and very good and not really that expensive either. So we are off now to uh, search down some gelato somewhere, which I don't really know where, but we're gonna try to find it. Okay guys, we're on uh, Española Way. Didn't actually find any gelato. Gelato place is closed, of course. But it does look pretty cool, so I figured I'd just film a little bit for you. It is kind of pretty. Watch out for this guy, because it doesn't appear that he can see us. So lots of good places to eat up and down this road. Italian, Spanish obviously, Peruvian. Havana 1957 is up here, which we went to earlier in the week. So yeah. Yep, another gelato place is closed over there. So yes, if you're looking for some good places to eat, plenty of them right here on Española Way. Okay guys, found a uh, sign that says gelato, but there seems to be people missing. Once again, I think we're shit out of luck. Okay guys, turns out they uh, are open for gelato. And so they just have no indoor seating right now. So we are getting some gelato to go. And they also have all kinds of other stuff, including brick oven pizza here and a full menu. So there we go. But today it's just gelato for dessert that we finally found. Yay for gelato. All right guys, that ends Saturday, day four. Five, I believe and we got a couple more days left here in Miami Beach and then we are heading home on uh, Tuesday so uh, today we started with a boat cruise this morning over in Miami and that was really cool got to see all kinds of stars houses JLo's house JLo's house yes Rihanna uh, Alicia Keys Sylvester Stallone Gloria Estefan uh, the guy that invented Viagra I don't know what his name is but he had a huge house go figure <laughs> it wasn't blue it was it was white, but it was big, really big, and yeah. Then after that, we ate at a uh, German place called the Bavarian House, which was uh, kind of like Hofbra House. If you guys uh, from Vegas are familiar with that, kind of the same food, kind of the same atmosphere, except that we were pretty much the only people there. So, but when the party gets started, it's probably kind of fun. Food is good though. Uh, then this afternoon we came back to the room and did laundry. That was exciting. Didn't video that for you guys, but uh, it involved lots of dirty clothes and dryers and washers. And uh, yeah, then we went to the beach for a couple hours and uh, watched the sunset over there. And then had a really good uh, food over at the taco place uh, that I... Tos tostados, taquitos, something. I don't know. Yeah. I'll put it in the description, as I always do. But uh, very good food over there. I'd definitely recommend that place if I could remember the name of it. And yeah, then we uh, searched out some gelato, finally found it at a place called The Alley, which is literally right in the alley beside our hotel. And uh, it was decent. It wasn't the best gelato I've ever had, but it hit the spot because it was hot outside and it was uh, good. So, and I think that was about it, right? Yeah. Yes, that was about it. Yeah, that That's the end it. of the day. That, so that was our on to tomorrow and there's not much going on there. We're probably just gonna hang out on the beach for the next couple days actually. So yeah. We will see you guys in the morning. Bye. And good morning, guys. Sunday morning. We are doing something different today. We are gonna go have breakfast somewhere. I think we've only had breakfast once the entire time we've been here. And of course, we're gonna go to our favorite spot, Havana, for breakfast. Hey. Simone's starting off with her uh, special Havana 1957 coffee. It's got three different kinds of milk in it. Uh, evaporated, condensed, and regular milk, and it's kind of pretty. You can see. pretty. And then I'm gonna do a kiwi juice, which is equally as pretty. Thanks. Okay, guys, breakfast has arrived, and Simone got the orange guava French toast. Is that what it was? I think it was just guava French oh, toast. All right, just guava French uh, toast. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's pretty. Yeah. And then I've got. Uh, the hell do I have? Rojo, oh, that's right. I've got uh, basically uh, rojo beef yeah. was over some potatoes and cheese and some scrambled eggs. Mine looks a lot more Cuban than yours, but 
Either way, looks delicious. We're gonna dig in. Yep, very good. Looks like it's gonna be spicy, but it's actually very well balanced. Not really spicy at all, more tomato -y. Yeah, no, cheese and potatoes underneath. Ah. Oh. Help you out with that. This is fun. At some point, she's gonna get it. There we go. Right. Well, uh, you, uh, you had it. Not yet. Okay. Hey, there we go. Now it's my turn to have some of hers. I want some of this. We're free. Tastes like French toast with whipped cream. Yep. I think I must have missed the guava. Yeah, I want some guava. There we go, guava now. That's more exciting. More exciting than the guava. So I keep forgetting to tell you, but they add on an automatic service charge slash tip to every bill here in South Beach that we've been to. Some are 20%, some are 18, and the other day we even saw a 6% from somewhere, but most of them add on a 20% tip automatically. So if you want to go above and beyond that, that's your priority or, no, sorry, your choice, your, your choice I should say. Yeah. But I just want to make you guys aware of uh, something that is kind of unique here to South Beach. So yeah, your tip is automatically already added in. We went home. Morning. Morning, afternoon. It's not afternoon yet. Yeah, it's like almost 11 or something. It's like 10.30. Oh, that's a cool plane, yeah. Okay guys, back to the beach. Muddled through all the seaweed here. Seaweed, comparatively speaking, isn't too bad today. Once you get past this spot here. Not sure what Simone's doing over there. Alright, I'm going in. And just like that, almost clean. It's actually very shallow here. You can walk about quite a ways out. Let's see where my wife is. Ah, there she is. Gracefully sexy, like a Playboy model, making her way into the water. Getting attacked by swarms of bees. And Sharks and stuff. Oh yeah, look at that model, Grace. Got lots of company here this morning. Don't let those poop on you. That'll make a mess. Whoa! I had a seagull poop on me once, and that was disgusting. Yeah, I had a seagull shit on my hat once. I had to throw it away. Yeah, the pelicans probably, have a probably look like a pile of horse turd. So for all you Vegas people that are used to seeing the uh, billboards on the side of uh, vehicles and trucks in Vegas going down the strip, same idea here in Miami Beach, but instead of vehicles, they got boats. So this one here right now currently is advertising how to socially distance, wear a mask, and wash your hands. Very practical. And low mortgage rates to refi re refinance your home. So yeah, kind of funny. Some similarities between South Beach and Vegas. Okay guys, we are off for off to happy hour. Except Simone just remember that happy hour doesn't actually happen on Sundays. So now we're off to pay full price for a couple of drinks instead. Yeah. But either way, we're going off for drinks. We actually made it about four hours on the beach today, which is a new record for us. Before we overheated and went to the room, so that was good. 
But yeah, having a few drinks at Havana now. Well, it took a whole week, but Simone finally got a Miami Vice. Half daiquiri, half pina colada, and I gotta say, it looks delicious. I went with an orange uh, mojito. Vlogging gold. Okay guys, after dinner, no, after drinks, we were taking a walk along the beach, but I gotta pee. So back to the hotel it is, in case you were curious. I know you all were. It's true. You know. there's, there's a lot of instructions just to use the elevator. I'm just saying. Yeah, that, that, that up there, that down here. They were doing point to point A lot, lot of instructions. When really all you have to do is walk in and press a button. Just like that. Okay, guys, we're off to, uh, I don't remember the name of the place. We're off to that good pizza place we ate the other day. So, as soon as I remember the name, I'll tell you about it. But either way, that's where we're going. My glasses are fogged up, so I'm having a hard time seeing right now. But well, that's a street. Don't walk in that. Okay, guys, here we are at La Legenda. Unfortunately, my guy Giovanni isn't here. We showed me the oven, but we're hoping his uh, employees were trained well. So Andy's heartbroken. I am a little heartbroken. Yeah, I was <laughs> looking forward to saying goodbye to him. But anyway, uh, we ordered the white truffle pizza, and also we ordered a calzone tonight. So a little something different to try. So should have plenty of leftovers who I have for breakfast on uh, Tuesday when we leave. So that's the plan. Yeah. So Simone tells me I should tell you guys that this comes either fried or not fried. So you can get it either deep fried or baked. We decided to go deep fried on this. Why? I don't know. Just because we can. So this one, this one has ricotta, cheese, tomato sauce, salami, and some other stuff that I can't remember. But all right. Thank you very much. Yeah, all right, Tim. The nice guy cut it for us. Someone wasn't having much success, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where you put that. <laughs> we were figuring we'd have leftovers. We're gonna have lots of leftovers. Yeah, That's right. For breakfast. Yeah. Thank you. This one here. Give it a little bit. There you go. Oh, yeah. Pl plenty of room. Plenty of room. You've done this before. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys, and our pizza has arrived. Uh, once again, it's got truffles, mushrooms, pancetta on it, and a truffle sauce as well. Truffle cream. Truffle cream sauce, yes. Looks amazing. We're going to try the calzone first, though. Yep, Calzone's amazing. This is your cue. You didn't tell me. Yeah, no, you're on camera. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, that's good. Garlicky. Garlicky. Very mushroomy. Mushroomy, obviously, yes. Truffly. Truffly. All of the above. <laughs> hey, All right, guys, walking off some pizza. Calzone. Yeah. Calzones. Alcohol. Chips. Chips. All of the above, walking it all off. But... Yeah, all right, guys, and this place has gone to the dogs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cute. That is something you don't see every day. Once again, for the Vegas people, you may or may not know that a lot of the Vegas hotels and casinos are actually originally from South Beach, Miami. For example, right in front of us, when the one with the tower there is actually the original SLS. As we know, SLS in Vegas didn't survive more than a couple of years, but the SLS here in Miami has been here for quite a long time. So that's just one of the examples. Another example is the Fountain Blue, which is still existing here in Miami Beach and never even got off the ground in uh, Vegas. So yeah, it's a little bit of a history and trivia there for you guys. Little tit bit, tit bit, bit tit, I don't know, something like that. 
Okay guys, one more thing I forgot to mention. When we were at the pizza place tonight, our waiter came up to us and asked us if we were YouTubers, and of course we're trying to be anyway. And <laughs> so he subscribed to my channel and he uh, showed me his Instagram. He's actually a artist that designs some um, t-shirts right now and probably will design some other stuff eventually, I'm guessing. But uh, figured I'd shout out his Instagram channel so you guys can check him out and uh, hopefully he does the same for me. So there we go, Essency. Hope you guys got that on the camera. So, yeah, we met him tonight at the pizza place, and Very so thanks family. to him for subscribing, and uh, hopefully he has lots of success with his uh, endeavors. endeavors. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm not sure if I videoed this yet. Probably have, I'm sure. But anyway, just want to show you what it looks like here at night. Uh, both our uh, Hilton Grand Vacations Club uh, hotel and also some of the other ones here. They all come to life here at night, lit up in the Art Deco theme with some pretty uh, rainbow colors, blues, and all that good stuff, plus all the nightclubs and bars that are along the street here. So it gets uh, real, real nice out here at night.